What's going on guys, Tetra Ninja here, and I've been wanting to do a review on headsets I used to game with for a while now. They're called the Astro A40s, so here it is, and we'll get right into it. Starting off with the headphones. The headphones feature 5.1 digital surround sound, which means there are 5 speakers in one in one subwoofer in each one of the earmuffs. <laughs> they're fully adjustable, so they're extremely comfy to wear. I can run like 6 hour game sessions without having my ears feel a little bit raw and worn down. My I have a big head and my friend has a small head and they're comfy in both of us. They have customizable speaker tags which you can uh, use a program on Astro sites to customize your speaker tags to whatever you want using your own images if you want. It has a quick di disconnect cable which basically is a blessing in disguise. I can't even tell you how many times I've stepped on the line of my headphones <laughs> and the quick disconnect quick disconnect cable just saves you a whole bunch of trouble. It functions just as the Xbox 360 wire controller does so if you tug on it the line will just fall out and prevent preventing damage to your headphones. It also has an inline mute switch which is always a nice feature and basically everything on the headset is replaceable such as the boom mic which you can place on either sides of the earmuffs, the headband, the quick disconnect cable and the ear pads themselves they can all be purchased on Astro site for a fairly reasonable price so if something gets worn down uh, you don't have to worry about buying a completely new headset they work great uh, just order off Astro sites and we'll move on to colors they come in two main colors and you notice I spelt colors with a U in Canada we like our beer cold, our igloos warm and our words with using them. So you, yeah, you have two main options, the black and white. They used to offer in red, army green, and blue, but they took that down recently in their site. And right now they have like a Metal Gear Solid Special Edition one. So yeah, good options. And like I said, uh, you can customize your speakers using a program on their site. You can upload your own images. Uh, I customize my speakers with like a Vegeta picture and a Solid Snake pic picture. So it's a really nice option to have. And out of the box, this is what you get. You get the headset, obviously, with three uh, generic black face plates, a uh, travel case, a quarter inch pole, which I don't understand what it's for, um, foam inserts that go underneath the speaker tags that kind of reduce outside noise, the four pole qu quick disconnect cable, which you'll be, your baby, you'll be basically using most of the time, also has a PC cable. Uh, if you if you have a PC, then you can use them as a computer headset, and obviously the boom mic. It's important to note that in order to take full advantage of the 5.1 surround sound, you have to purchase the mix amp. The surround sound will not work without the mix amp at all, so it makes no sense to purchase them separately. Uh, you might as well just shell out the 250 bucks and buy them together. Otherwise, you're just uh, losing some of the experience you'll get with this headset. So that segues nicely into my next point of the mix amp. Like I said, it requires 5.1 surround sound. It has in-game and in, in voice volume control. Uh, it separates by two main knobs that you can kind of balance it out, which is all, which is awesome. Uh, it's multi-platform, so you can work on the 360, the PlayStation, and the PC, which is really the only reason I would purchase this headset. If I was only uh, playing on 360, then I'd just buy Turtle Beaches because they're a lot cheaper, but multi-platform, these things are awesome. Connects to multi to MP3 players and also features a Deji chain link system, which I'll get into a little bit later for you guys. And it's important to note if you're a PlayStation user, there are two main generations of mix amps. There's the first one and the second one. The first one isn't as compatible with the PlayStation as the second one is. And what you'll have to do is buy a USB driver, which they offer on their site. It's called a Music Fairy, which basically you plug one end in, into the Music Fairy and the other end into the PC mic. And the other line runs into the Music Fairy and underneath where that red little knob thing is into one of the two slots it has down there. And then you have to set the settings uh, on your PlayStation to recognize the recognize the USB driver. But like I said, you don't have to do this on the second generation mix amp. And the second one sends, saves you some time and two wires. Uh, so here it is on the first generation, how you set it. You go to System Settings, Setting Audio, 
You set it to optical uh, if you're using the optical, which I highly recommend you do. If you're shelling out 250 bucks, you might as well <laughs> shell out the extra 10 bucks for an optical cable for the best sound quality. Then you go into accessory settings, audio device settings, and just find the USB driver. If you buy it off their site, it'll come up as Music Fairy, but I have a, I had a Logitech one lying around, and that's how you get the vo the voice in-game voice f on the first generation mix amp. On the second one, it's a little bit easier. Once again, after setting the optical settings, all you gotta do is go to your device settings, and the drive the driver is now included in the second generation mix amp, which is why uh, I upgraded to it. It saved me two lines and a USB port, and just set it to Astro Gaming USB mix amp, and you're good to go. So that's how you set that up. Moving on to the Daisy Chain Link, the, it allows you to link multiple mix amps together for private hands free hands free communication with no le network lag or system lag, which is basically what you'll see in MLG tournaments. That's how all the players are connected. It's important to note that this is on it links the mix amps to separate systems. So we'll get a little bit more into that later. So there are two main accessories you might want to think of purchasing. It's the battery pack, which costs about 20 bucks, which is completely useless because it charges via USB, and charging via USB takes a ridiculous amount of time. And while you're charging and using, it has like a weird feedback sound uh, on the mic, so it's not even worth it. And if you're on the PlayStation, you have to have the USB plug-in anyways to power uh, to power it with a second generation mix amp so uh, like I said don't buy the battery pack it's just stupid you don't need to do it and the power split you'll need if you want to hook up two mix amps to one console system so with the daisy chain it allowed you to hook up to multiple systems but if you want to hook it up to one system two separate mix amps then you'll need the power splitter uh, Astro also offers another product called the Astro A30s which are basically thir uh, Smaller versions of the A40s for like 30 bucks less. They basically function the exact same way. The only difference is they're a little bit more low key and smaller, so you can kind of wear them in public with all your and use them for all your audio devices such as your iPods or your computers and PSPs. So we'll get into the final. So we'll get to the final review. The pros are they're extremely comfy. They offer great sound quality, both voice and in game. You can sound whore for the win. And I'll do all my commentary with the Astro A40 mic, so that gives you a good idea of the voice quality. And there, it works multi-platform, which is really the only reason I'd buy this headset. If I was only playing on 360, then I would just get like the X4s or the X3s for the wireless compatibility. But if you have multiple systems, PS3, 360, and if you play occasionally on PC, then save yourself some money and you only have to buy one headset and go with the Astros. Mix amp functionality is awesome. Uh, In-game voice and volume balancing that the mix amp offers is really, really good. And the second generation mix amp for the PS3 uh, cuts the wires, the amount of wires in half, and you no longer need a driver, and you save yourself a USB port. And like I said, if you any part of the Astros on the headset itself get worn down, you can buy them easily and fairly cheap, cheaply on Astro sites. I've had my headset now for about six months and no problem so far, but like I said, it's nice knowing the fact that if anything does get worn down, then I can buy it online. The quick dis disconnect cable saves babies. My heart honestly stop, uh, stops every single time I step on the cord, but I get relieved when I hear that little snap sound, knowing that the quick disconnect cable had just saved my headset and me ripping out my cord from the headphones, <laughs> which is really, really good. And overall, uh, Astro offers amazing customer support. If you ask them a question or call them, they'll usually get back to you fairly, fairly quickly and yeah great customer support and you really can't ask anything more than that from a company the cons are pretty much obvious at 249.99 us for both the headset and mix amp like i said it makes absolutely no sense to buy them separately shipping outside the us also rapes to canada it's 8181 for the, both the mix amp and the headsets what i actually did is i had a friend that I play with online who lives in the states and I got him to order it for me and he mailed them to me and that just saved me like 50 bucks right there 
they're not wireless as the X4s are, but you sacrifice that for the multi-platform functionality. And with the first generation Mixamp, you had four wires running to your PS3 and two, two USB ports being taken up. And on the later versions of the PlayStation 3s, you only get two USB ports, so that's kind of annoying. And it doesn't come with the optical cable, and for 250 bucks, it really should. But overall, I gave it a final score of 8.5 out of 10. Um, the sound quality is great. The only thing you have to get over is just the initial purchase price. And it kind of sucks if you bought the earlier version of the mix amp. And if you're like me, you kind of had to upgrade it. But with all the extra replacement parts and all the other benefits, it kind of 8.5 out of 10. It's a pretty good score. And that's it for review. I also post Modern Warfare 2 commentary and video, so if you're only watching this review for that, but uh, like I said, I have a channel, so please check out my channel, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.